So remember how k-means clustering works. We need to know the distances between each cluster centroid and each data point. And each data point here is a purchase vector for each customer. So I'm going to make three rows down here below our data table, one, two, and three, to represent the cluster centroids. And I will highlight those rows just so that we can see them easily. And we're going to use Euclidean distance, which works with Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, so that c squared ends up being, or the square root of c squared ends up being the distance between a and b. In our case, we don't just have two numbers, a and b. We have 32 numbers because we have 32 different offers here uh, on the left. So we will end up taking a square root of a bunch of numbers that we're going to end up summing. I'm going to put two open parentheses there because we're going to end up doing something that requires that. So I'm going to select h2 through h33 minus k2 through k33, close parentheses, caret 2 to square those numbers, and we are going to close the sum parentheses, close the square root parentheses, and now just quick note, we need to, uh, we can't just press enter here, we need to press command shift enter on Mac, control shift enter on PC to use an array formula or else this won't work right because what we're doing here is it's going to go through iteratively and take uh, k2, subtract that from h2, k3 from h3 and so on all the way through if we do the array formula. So command shift enter and we end up with this 1.73 number which is obviously not going to be the final number because right now there's no numbers here in cluster one's column but you can see if I start adding some numbers that distance changes because we're changing the position of cluster one's centroid. So we'll make these constants in some cases. So write uh, h2 through h33 dollar signs in front of the h's and the, the, the letters and the numbers. And for k2 through k33, we'll just put some dollar signs in front of the numbers. And again, we will press Command Shift Enter, drag this formula down. And we need to change a couple things to make sure that this H is an I in the row for a cluster 2 centroid. Don't forget to do Command Shift or Control Shift Enter. And then column J for a cluster 3 centroid. And again, don't forget to do Command Shift or Control Shift Enter. And now I will drag this formula all the way across. I believe there are about a hundred customers here, something like that. Drag this across so that we have the numbers for all of the customers. And now you can see we have our Euclidean distances. And these distances are, we're going to tinker with the positions. Basically, what k-means is going to do is tinker with which numbers to put in here so that we can optimize something. And I will explain that in the upcoming videos.